Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert in St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to talk about what is volume in math. Now, volume is actually a very simple definition in that it talks about the amount of space that a three-dimensional object can actually occupy. Now, there's many different three-dimensional objects out there, so we're here to talk about you know, a few common shapes, and we'll talk about what the volume of each shape is. Now, all you really need is a pen, paper, and a calculator if you need it. Now, we're going to first talk about a very common shape known as the box. Now, the volume of a box is length times width times height. Now, we talked about the definition of a volume is three-dimensional measurement. Now, in this case, it's pretty easy to see why it's volume because you have length, which is one dimension, width, which is another dimension, and height, which is a third dimension. So, again, for the volume, you have three dimensions that are measured at the same time. Now, another common shape is that of a sphere. For example, like a baseball, basketball, etc., anything that's uh, considered round. The formula for that is volume equals four thirds pi r cubed. Now, the only dimension here is actually radius, but take a look at the power that's raised to, three. That means the radius is measured three different times, therefore three dimensions. The dimensions don't have to be distinct necessarily, so in this case you have a three-dimensional measurement. And then one last example is that of a cylinder. Now, the volume of a cylinder by definition is pi r squared h. You recognize pi as a number, that's approximately 3.14. Now you have r, which stands for radius, squared, so that means right there Two of the dimensions are already covered because it's r squared, and h stands for height, and it's h to the first. So there's two dimensions here, additional dimension here for a total of three dimensions. But all three of these are all volume formulas, and based on the formulas themselves, it's easy to see why. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there are some examples as to what is volume in math.